We are going to explore the topic of cloning. Clones are genetically identical individuals produced naturally by asexual reproduction. However, clones can also be made artificially. In animals, they can be cloned using embryo transplants and adult cell cloning. For plants, we can use cuttings. So when you cut off a part of a plant and then you put it in soil or something with hormones in to help them grow, or by tissue culture. So let's recap those methods. For plants, we use cuttings and tissue culture, whereas for animals, we use embryo transplants and adult cell cloning. Let's take a closer look at cloning plants. Firstly, cuttings. The good parent plants are used by gardeners as a source of cuttings. To take a cutting, a branch is cut off from the parent plant. Hormones are then used to encourage the roots to grow and the cutting is then planted. Planting cuttings produces clones of the parent plant, so they'll be genetically identical. This allows for a large number of plants with favourable characteristics to be produced quickly and also cheaply. The other method is tissue culture. Small groups of cells are extracted from a plant and placed in a growth medium. This would be something like a petri dish with plant food in it. Divisions of these cells will eventually result in the formation of a clone of the parent plant. The advantage of this technique are that it is quick, it's space efficient because you can do it in a lab, and it's also time independent. And so this technique is particularly important for commercial use in nurseries, which are for growing plants, and the preservation of rare species, so in conservation. So clones are genetically identical copies produced naturally by asexual reproduction, and clones can also be made artificially. So if you think about the stormtroopers in Star Wars, they're all clones because they're all genetically identical, or they all look the same, which is why they're called clones. So to recap those methods, for animals we've got embryo transplants and for plants we use tissue culture and cuttings.